Dancing in public is forbidden in Germany. Oh. No! I Hello guys! Yo, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are feeling good. Hope you guys are boss like a newborn baby. My name is Bukomi Pike Crown. So guys, I'm here with another one. We're gonna be checking out a video together titled Six Surprising Things That Are Forbidden in Germany yes Germany so let's check it out Ooh, what's going on Polizei. do you want to stay on the right side of the law in Germany yeah. well sure. here are a few things you probably didn't realize are banned here mm. several times a year on so-called silent days dancing in public is forbidden in Germany no! Are you kidding me? The dance ban is most strictly enforced on Good Friday, one of the most important dates in the Christian calendar. The exact times of the ban vary between states, and in some places it's also forbidden to have sporting events, move house, or show particular films. But it's not Good Friday. No, but it is Sunday, and every Sunday is a quiet day. The law states you can only do DIY if it doesn't involve any drilling, hammering, or banging. So I guess that leaves... Gluing? Other forbidden activities include playing loud music, recycling glass, and skateboarding noisily in a residential area. Don't even think about mowing your lawn. These mm. rules usually apply on public holidays too, as well as certain times of the afternoon and evening, depending on regional law. Ganz einfach. In Germany, it can really pay to hold your tongue. Insulting somebody can land you a hefty fine or up to one year in jail. Here are some examples from no, real wow. court cases. Are you gonna live your life A now? Flopter. Die hat wohl die Sonne das Gehirn verbrannt. Am liebsten würde ich jetzt Arschloch zu dir sagen. Ey, Spinner! The more you earn, the more you pay. A professional footballer recently received a 25,000 euro fine. <coughs> Now, wow, this one is beyond my imagination. Like, I'm really shocked, guys. Like, how do you actually survive in this kind of country like virtually almost everything you cannot do then what can you do what is allowed in that country like i don't get so she said dancing in public is not allowed like really really but some people actually find it weird to dance in public especially when you're dancing on the streets you know that one is a normal thing but when you're in a gathering you're in a public place or in, in that's in the public. I don't see anything. I don't see a big deal in it. They said, especially on a Friday. Then that, I know Sunday too is a quiet day. Don't make noise. Like oh my god, all these things are really shocking to me. Oh my god, I'm still surprised. But let's keep watching. For insulting a pensioner in a car park. Germans are extremely obedient when it comes mm. to pedestrian crossings, and no wonder. Walking across the street when the light is red could land you an on-the-spot fine of 5 to 10 euros. Ah. New drivers can even have their probation period extended by two years for walking over on red. You know, sometimes I think Rachel's a bit boring. Wouldn't it be great to be called something cool like Princess Asparagus? Hold it right there! Okay. In Germany, you can only change your name if you have a really, really good reason for it. Like, no one can pronounce it, or it causes you psychological distress. When getting married, only one partner can take a double-barreled surname. And when naming your children, there are various legal precedents too. Like? Well, the name must be easily recognizable as a first name. Ah, so that's why there's not very many baby Mullers or Schneiders running around here. No names that will be harmful to the child in any way. Fair enough. Up until 2008, the name also had to make it clear whether the child was male or female. But that's not the case anymore. Let me hear you say 21st century. The titles okay. like Lord or Princess are still out. Oh, man. Step away from the sponge. What? I'm not hmm. even allowed to wash my own car in front of my own home. Ah. No, but with good reason. The water containing dirt, grease and cleaning chemicals can make its way into the groundwater and eventually into rivers and lakes. Save yourself a possible fine of thousands of euros and head to a professional car wash. They'll have to comply with strict rules when disposing Mama, of the water. So what do you reckon? Have the Germans gone too far money. or do you love a good ban? Comment below. See you next time. And remember, immer sauber bleiben.
this was really short and quick and easy to understand and digest but i'm not actually digesting this thing at all like if i'm mega like if i should visit germany is this what i'm gonna be passing through like no dancing in public no making noise on, on a sunday you know you can't wash your car in front of your house <laughs> wow then car washers they are really making a lot of money in that country germany because i think if you're actually moving to germany and you're thinking of a business you can start up I, now i have an idea for you just you know open a car washing business be washing cars for your clients your customers and you make money because they're not allowed to wash your cars in front of their homes okay if they can't wash their cars in front of their homes where where else but they can wash it outside of their gates right is it allowed let me know because i don't understand uh, i don't know how much you'll be spending per week well that's a good business oh good business for all those car washers now they make money you guys are making cool cash cool cash now she made mention of um like i don't even know i don't know the other thing is just messing with my head right now like this old laws are really messing with me like i'm really really shocked at all these things and um the rules the traffic light rules is really un understandable in some countries when um the traffic turns red um people are not actually crossing the road then as a driver you have to wait till it turns green yes why in some countries like my country nigeria we don't really follow traffic rules we don't really follow it like that not i'm not talking about lagos per se i'm talking about other states like my state ibadan we don't really follow traffic rules because we don't really have traffic lights like that so if the light turns red and nobody is passing nobody's crossing the driver will just fume move but in their country you pay they will charge you for that you pay a ransom but that was not really shocking to me but other points actually came to me as a shock like man now they try you guys are really really trying but i will really break a lot of rules if i'm in that country germany like i don't know how i'm going to survive in such country because i don't know if i will able to survive because before i will actually adapt or get used to this kind of laws they would have find me tired like no no see <laughs> well prison will not be our portion so please let's let's take note of this when you are visiting germany no it's very very important thank god i know of this now so that in case i visit germany i would not do past myself uh, before i do why even though i want to shake my body smile I'll be like okay jail is calling me i don't need to misbehave i don't want to go to jail i will think three times or hundred times before i make that move because i'm a, hmm, i think the consequences are really crazy so guys thank you for watching this video to this point you are my real vvips i love you so much don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment guys my name is bukumi bukekran and i will see you guys on the next one bye